Adventures in Pixie Land presents your daily energy reading. Your daily astrology reading for November 23rd, 2024 is the waning crescent moody moon in practical Virgo. Opposite, strict Saturn in intuitive Pisces. You may feel overwhelmed today by something you are trying to get done. Uh, stay calm and schedule breaks so you can breathe through it. Your Elder Futhark Daily Rune for November 23rd, 2024 is Isa. Isa, the letter I, meaning ice, associations, frozen in time, concentration, stasis, non-action, psychological blocks, stand still. Today's context. Today, you are being asked to pause and to look internally at any blockages that might be happening, to look at the bigger picture. Your daily romance angel oracle card for November 23rd, 2024 is attraction. Attraction. Like a good friend, the romance angels send you this card to tell you the truth. The best way to have more romance in your life is through attraction rather than through strenuous effort. You are most attractive when you are fully enjoying yourself in the present. Your joyful laughter, self-expression, and body language are beautiful in contrast, any stress you experience as strain to find romance pushes against the stream of life. Strain comes from a place of fear with an underlying worry. Maybe I won't receive this. That fear then attracts the very thing that you worry about. Stress creates wrinkles, body tension, and constricted voice, and other unattractive characteristics. Your Daily Fairy Wisdom Oracle card for November 23rd, 2024 is Moon Dragon. Card 13, Moon Dragon. Emotions. Wish upon a moonbeam today. Mistress Moon can make the tides rise and fall, and with them, your emotions. Sometimes these emotions can be lambs, and sometimes they can be dragons. When the moon dragon comes to visit, simply invite her in and sit with her a while. Share a cup of fairy tea with her. Dwell in her space for a bit and feel her feelings. These feelings are neither good nor bad. They just are. Allow the dragon her voice and she will be appeased. It might help to write in a journal at such a time. Expressing all that is within releases the pressure of the moon tide. Much can be accomplished by simply sitting with the dragon and listening to what she has to say. Try it next time the moon has a hold over you. See how quickly you can contain the dragon then all that energy can be put to useful purpose for your highest good. We are humans with feelings, hormones, emotions, likes, and dislikes. We all have different things that appeal to us and different ways of looking at things. This is a really good thing. However, when emotions become riled, it's best to sit with them and sort them out. Emotions are trying to tell you something. Look at these emotions with honesty and explore what they're about. Get the real source of your feelings. Keep asking why and saying, tell me more until you have the full story. Take a deep breath and let the body relax and breathe easily. Ask spirit for another way to look at the situation. Ask for balance in body, mind, and spirit. Breathe in 
and be at peace. Ask for the perfect solutions and be willing to let them come to you. Listen your chant. Mistress Moon, help me to ebb and flow gently with your tide. Allow the dragon within me to subside. Bring me peace and harmony just as you can calm the sea. Release my emotions to infinity so I may live in my divinity. So be it. Your daily starseed oracle card for November 23rd, 2024 is Trust the Timing. Trust the Timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. So often, those who feel like they're here for a reason sense that time is running out, and they spend their life worrying that they might miss their moment. But the only way to miss your life or your moment is to spend your time worrying about missing it. It's never too late to answer a calling, and you're never too old. The tides of your life are magnificently orchestrated to come in and out in perfect unison. Don't race ahead and ride the wave that was never meant for you. You'll waste your precious time and energy when instead you could be enjoying your life. Everything has a season and you're being called to trust the one you're in. Don't let impatience comparison, competition, or paranoia disturb the seeds. It seems everyone has anxiety these days, constantly scanning for something they might have missed or a possible threat. Keeping our mind and body pointed in the same direction as our soul is near impossible at such reactive speeds. Right now, you're being reminded to take a breath and trust the wave that you came in on, to trust the season you're in. Time isn't running out. There's plenty of time. There is no rush, and it's never too late. Your starseed soul inquiry, how can you trust the timing in your life a little more? Your daily priestess of light oracle card for November 23rd, 2024 is Deep Emotions. Card 15, Deep Emotions, Unknown Feelings, Past Life Influences. This priestess of the deaths welcomes you to a side of life that most people never explore. The sacred triangle above her head represents the trinity of time, past, present, and future. This is surrounded by the circle of eternity reminding you of the unending nature of life, cyclical, continuous, and connected. The ocean is layered with currents of all different speeds and directions. These layers of moving vibrations are like the emotions of your life. It is time to understand your patterns of motivation and reaction and recognize how you are affected by things going on beneath the surface. Profound feelings you might not be facing are often still strong enough to direct your destiny, whether you want them to or not. Longing, attachment, and fear could send you in an entirely different direction than you desire. Such influences may stem from past lives, but whatever the origin, you need not be stuck with them forever. Look honestly at your patterns of life to identify the undercurrents of emotions that are misdirecting you. Affirm that you can release toxic emotions and let go of longing and need. Calm your own internal spirit to help you navigate these depths of feeling and influence. The power of your soul transcends all of time, space, and energetic currents. 
When you feel the depth of peace it brings, you will be able to take conscious advantage of each moment and achieve joy and all the currents of your present existence. The present is a drop of life that cannot be separated from the vast ocean that is your own eternal truth. So choose to infuse it with power and peace. Your affirmation, I release longing and fear. I peacefully direct the current of my life in every present moment. Your daily energy reading for November 23rd, 2024 is the astrology is telling you toxic overdue is bad. No excuses for the amount of work needing to be done. The crap feeling your body will have later is, uh, is not worth it. So, okay. Uh, the Roman of Torical reminds you that, uh, you pull, that you pull in, uh, the, yeah, oh, uh, reminds you that, uh, it reminds you that you pull in, uh, what energy you put out into the world. So, you know, you recycle the energy. Uh, the, so you repeat so, uh, the fairies remind you that, uh, strong emotions are part of the human experience. Agreed. Uh, the star seed oracle reminds you that we are always subject to divine act, but it, timing. So what's happening now is not something you could have changed. Uh, the priestess of light oracle reminds you that if you have a knee jerk emotional reaction, then you you have a trauma to go heal. Um, so, all right. So, uh, some commotion or something happening, possibly out there in the world. And be careful how you react because you're going to want to react because this is going to feel very sudden. And, oh my God, what the heck just happened? Uh, but you cannot respond to this by jumping in and trying to do everything for everybody. Or uh, any of the rest of this. Oh, and Issa. Look, I completely skipped past Issa. Issa says nothing is moving until you deal with this. Yeah, so you're going to have some problem that like an unmovable object meets an unstoppable force kind of thing. And it is indeed creator. But if you need your reaction to this emotionally, there's your trauma. And you got to go deal with that right now because you have to deal with this right now kind of situation. Um, so... Yes, having an emotional reaction and having strong emotions um, might be understandable uh, because human experience. Uh, but you're still going to need to sit down and come up with a plan of how you're going to get all this done because you can't do all that all by yourself. And you can't help that this happened in whatever way this happens. It's all happening this way because somebody wasn't dealing with something when they should have been. And that, it might not even be you that wasn't dealing with something that they should have been dealing with. It could totally be somebody else and you just find out and now you feel compelled to try to assist in some way. So, just careful. Careful with how you respond to situations because I'm going to repeat once again, the whole real test is how gentle you are with other beings in the world compassion grace gentleness love love including for one's self if you need help and you feel like you're in a state of overwhelm please reach out to someone even if it's just to talk you need a plan so that you're not hurting yourself to get something done. And there's no reason for anybody to be put they'd be putting themselves in that state. The world is full of helpers. And you're not the only person on earth who's ever dealt with whatever this is. So please reach out to any helper that's available to you. Because you don't have to go through anything alone. <laughs> 